Let's now take a look at the new APIs that QuickSight provides. To start with, we look at the register user, which is an existing API, but something that you'll need as you provision users and use embedded content. Here we are going through the register flow for a QuickSight user. So this is a non-IAM user, and this user will choose their password before logging in. If you have to use embedded content for this user, they will not be asked to log in, and you can simply use the user's ARN to provide an embedded dashboard for the user. Know that the first namespace for an account is always the default namespace. That is the namespace where uh, all of your users today are created in QuickSight. And the new user um, logs in and finds content just as with a regular QuickSight user who's provisioned via the UI. Now let's move on to the data source creation. So you'll notice that with the new APIs, we have the ability to create a data source. The details in this case, both in terms of the assets uh, um, uh, details, so the data source details, and the password credentials are both stored in JSON files, and they are then piped to the um, command, which allows you to create. And then you can do a list data sources to view all of the data sources that are available in the account. Now remember, remember that with the APIs, you're seeing all of the data sources available, and then you can look at the permissions to understand or describe each of them to understand who has access to what. Now what we're going to do is use the new Create Template API to create a template from an analysis that is present in the account. And a template is a new entity in QuickSight that allows you to store the metadata and structure of a dashboard, which then can be associated with a different data set at uh, creation time. Now at this point you see that, uh, again, you're using the input file with the details, uh, which contain all of the details that are needed for this particular command. And the creation of the template is successful. And you're able to look at the uh, templates available. Now let's look at how we can create a data set. So we have a data source that we previously created. And let's go ahead and create a data set from it. A data set in QuickSight is a curated set of data that has specific columns from the overall um, data source. So for example, from a database, it would be a schema and then picking a table from the schema. And you can also specify this either as spice or direct query. With our new APIs, you will also have the opportunity to use the, um, the, the spice ingestion commands. So then you can trigger an ingestion whenever you need it. But in this case, we're going to look at just creating a simple data set and getting it into spice.
And now when you go back to the data sets page, you will find that the new data set created is available to you because you've created it and also updated permissions to make sure that you have access. And finally, we're going to use the create dashboard API to create the actual dashboard from the template and connect it to a data set. So remember, you will now be able to create dashboards programmatically for your users and grant permission connected to different data sets, all of that with the new APIs. Now here, you notice that there are no dashboards for this user in the account. We'll provide the template ID and also the data set references that are needed in order to create that dashboard. And once the dashboard is created, remember that it will not be visible to any user until and unless you go and grant explicit access. Now, access to start with will be as an owner or a user of the dashboard, which will translate to a set of permissions on the actual API. So this means that in order for the users to be uh, to have access, you will need to um, grant all of those permissions together as a bunch. And once you do that, we'll go back to QuickSight and make sure that the user has access to the dashboard.